Well, it has started. We've always known that what DeSantis calls an anti-woke agenda is nothing but an attempt to replace history with propaganda. And now we have our first formal application of this attempt to re-educate the masses. And it's in the form of this, the Florida State Academic Standards of 2023, which was approved unanimously by the Florida Board of Education and governs how race can be taught in Florida schools. And that kernel of propaganda appears here on page six of the document. The statement appears in a section of the document that lists events that uh, involved or affected African Americans from the founding of the nation through Reconstruction. And in it, the Board of Education of the state of Florida and Ron DeSantis decided to amend that curriculum to impose instructions on how, in some instances, enslaved African Americans were taught skills that, according to the curriculum, would personally benefit them. Let me be more clear. The Board of Education in the state of Florida unanimously approved a change in the curriculum that would require teachers to instruct their students that the practice of enslaving other human beings historically had benefited in some way the slaves themselves. Ron DeSantis wants to raise a generation of Floridians who believe that slavery was beneficial to the slaves. Our country, our Congress, passed laws historically that allowed human beings to be purchased and sold. It allowed families to be separated so that the children could be owned by adults and be forced to work in fields. The United States government codified the right for owners to physically punish their slaves and excluded culpability if that punishment led to death. But this man wants to force educational content by the government that teaches children that that enslavement was in some way advantageous to the slaves. And this is a coordinated assault by the GOP. You can see it in attempts from other states. In Texas, for example, they attempted, fortunately and successfully, to rename slavery into involuntary relocation. In the very state of Florida, a teacher showed a video that celebrated the bravery of Confederate soldiers and called the Civil War the War of Northern Aggression. There was an investigation, a sham one, and he was completely cleared of any wrongdoing. Make no mistake, this is a full-on attack. It's an attempt to rewrite history by people like this one in order to avoid questioning and ensure the continued power of a political faction that wants to continuously compress rights for most Americans.